Okay, a little while back I saw something on the internet about uh, a treadmill in an airplane. And in this thought experiment, the airplane is on this giant treadmill. And what the treadmill is capable of doing is keeping up to the same speed that the plane is. And the thought is, is that the airplane will not be able to fly because the treadmill, uh, it doesn't move relative to the air. So what I decided to do, since it's a complex control system, I just simplified, sim, simple, simplified the system. And what I did was is I took a treadmill and a toy airplane, one of his. I decided to do a little science experiment with him so he could understand the concepts of, of force, forces and what drives things. So what we have behind us is the setup. Now, Garrett. Let me ask you a question. You ready? Yeah. Okay. What will the airplane do on the treadmill? It will um, just move forward. Why? Because the air controls it. The air controls it. Now, what if what if there was what if it was a car? What would happen? Um. It depends. Okay. If if the treadmill is going fast faster than the car is going, mm -hmm. the car will just flip back. And it'll go backwards. Yeah. If so, if it's going the same speed that the car is doing, what will it do? It will just stay in the same place. Yes. But what happens when uh, with the airplane? Does it matter what speed the treadmill is going? Yes. It, no, it does not matter what speed the um, treadmill is going. Not at all? No. Okay. Well, let's go see. When there's a doubt, you test it out with an experiment, right? Yep. So what we're going to do is let me show you the system. What we have here is I was setting it up, and I got this little Air Hogs airplane here. And what I found out is when you put it on the Matchbox car for the wheels, since there is no um, there are no wheels on this airplane, so, what I did is I taped up a Matchbox car, and then during what, some of the early experiments I found out, it's very difficult to keep that thing straight depending on the treadmill speed. So what I decided to do is I have a piece of thread there, going through a guide straw, and it's tied off to that wicker chair over there. Now if you take a look, and you might have to trust me on this one, the airplane is always on the ground up to the end of the treadmill. It's still on the ground, so it never loses contact with the treadmill. So, first part of the experiment is we're going to do it with a speed of, treadmill speed of zero. And we'll take a look at the acceleration or the movement of the airplane and see how it moves relative to the treadmill when there's no speed. So Garrett, go ahead. Okay, so that, just keep in mind how fast that went. Do it one more time. So it does slowly accelerate, and that's with zero treadmill speed. Now, what I'm going to do is set up the treadmill speed. Uh, let's see if it will work at four miles an hour. Now it's obviously going faster than the plane actually flies, is it not? Okay. Now if you take it, go ahead and give it gas, see what it does. It did the exact same thing, didn't it? Yes. Now, you want to try to bring it up to 10? Yeah. I don't know if it's going to stay on track, but we'll try it. Give it a shot. Beautiful. So, as you can tell, it doesn't matter how fast the treadmill goes, does yes. it? Yes. No. Doesn't matter whatsoever. So the plane would take off, wouldn't it? Yes. If that was a real plane on a real large treadmill, yes. it would take off anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. Pretty cool experiment, huh? Yeah. All right. Thank you.